Hey guys, it's me Lay. Welcome back for another video. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and this is the May VIP box from Tombow and um, I actually opened it. I'm sorry I cheated because I couldn't wait so <laughs> I was so excited but I will be doing a pretend unboxing with all of you. Well, let's just say that I'll be sharing what's the content inside this box. What is going to be inside the May VIP Tombow box? It always, it's always a great day when there's a Tombow Happy Mail. So, TombowUSA.com, make sure to check them out. This one you wouldn't want to miss because like what I said, I opened it, I looked at it because I cheated. Okay. <sighs> It wasn't like this. Hold on, let me do it again so you guys can see the whole thing yet. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Here we go. Tom <laughs> Tombo VIP Club. Very inspirational product. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go show this first. Or let's let's just do this. Google brush. You guys know how much I love my Tombo dual brush pens. And I'm I don't think these are new colors. We're gonna go look because I created a swatch. So Three seventy nine. See that? Okay, so that's eight eighty five. But I can't believe I don't have this one. Or did I miss swatching this? Because I have all the colors. It's almost impossible that I didn't swatch this one. Three seventy nine. Oh gosh, I really need my glasses. Would you like? Would you mind if I get my glasses first? <laughs> so this is three seventy nine, and that is eight eighty five. So here's rain with my glasses. Let's do this again. Okay, now thanks rain. Okay. So we have 885. These are not new colors. All right. Now this is 373. So this is this. 373. Okay. But these are beautiful colors. Like what they said, it's perfect for summer. 985. This is the one. See how the tip is so different from the actual swatch of the pen? And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important for you to swatch your pens because if you are going to base your decision with just the um, tip or the lid of your pens and markers, it's really, it doesn't match. Look how yellow this one, the lid is, the color. And then the swatch is more like orange, see? See, it's really just, yeah, swatch, 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 important. And then the last but not the least is 772, and this is it. Oh, what a perfect, beautiful, like, rose pink. Gorgeous color, gorgeous color. So, so this is it, dual brush pens in this box so if you don't have this color perfect and even if you do we all know that you need a second one because the tip of the pen frays so easily and that's the only thing about Tombow I mean I love them but it really requires a special type of paper and I write heavy, so sometimes it's like just after a couple of uses, it, it's just a phrase. No matter what I do, it seems like uh, I'm even trying to be careful with it, but you know how it is. All right, so this is the one that got me so excited when I opened the box because I've always been using other brands, you know, non-Tombow brands. And I am part of the uh, Tombow family where sometimes creating something and then sharing it on Instagram or sharing it here on YouTube. Sometimes, you know, it, it beats that being the representative of the brand and then you're using other products to blend the pens. But I, I there's nothing else I could do because they don't have their own brush pens. And now they do. Now they do. And it's such a good thing because now I could be blending my Tombow dual brush pen with a Tombow water brush pen. So... Let's open it up. Let's look at the tip. And you know that I'll be doing a comparison with the Pentel water brush that I am used to using. Um, and that's going to be in the next video. We'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm sure that they'll be, they'll work the same. But I think that's the medium tip. Okay, so that's the turquoise cooler. And this is the green, which has the small tip. And then the blue for the flat brush. Okay, so I'm back. I did put some butter, I mean water. Eh, <laughs> corny. Okay, I'm just squeezing this so I can bring that water out. I'll be doing the same thing to this. Ooh, there's a lot of water. Be careful when you're squeezing this, when you're working on a project and you squeeze don't squeeze too hard so because there's a lot of water that comes out 
So just squeeze gently, gently. This one requires a little bit more water because that bristle is thicker than the small one. All right, I think it's all wet and ready. And we'll use this watercolor pad. Ooh, it says it has 156 GM squared. What is this math? Giving me math? <laughs> GM squared? Why? I don't like math. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So we'll try to let to something. Let's do the teal. Okay, do something. We are going to blend these. Just so you guys can see how they blend well together. I'll do this. I will blend the ooh. The paper is actually smooth for a watercolor. It's is it cold press? Uh, it's not highly textured, but okay. I'll blend this one. Uh, ooh, watch, watch it, watch. Ah, and then we'll blend this one. Oh, look. Ah, beautiful. Look how we're moving the colors. And this is one thing that I love about Tombow because I do admit that I do have lots of markers, but they are, you know, they work differently. So the Faber-Castell, the Pit Artist, those are India ink. So it doesn't work like this. Those are waterproof, so you cannot work them like a watercolor. But these Tombow, you, this will react with water because this is a water base. So when you use it like this, you can use it as a watercolor. And when you do your blending, it's really, it really works well. Look, I have more colors in my brush and so we're just trying to clean this one away. That's really good. So let's just try and create something like a lettering and we're gonna try and create an ombre effect. Short word, let's say hi. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Look how easy. Even rain can do this. <laughs> See how you can create your gradient look? Yes. So now if you if you feel like there's not enough water just squeeze just gently oh look oh, at that we're getting that big oops. Uh oh puddle of water that's not good that's not good just just have a napkin beside you or an extra sheet of paper no baby i'm good thank you i'm just gonna try and blend here blend there blending 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 it's all about the blending sometimes you have to move that color really well because you don't want to have like a puddle of just dark um, shade of markers in just one place. You don't want that. So you would just keep blending. It's like makeup. Just blend, blend, blend. It's all about the blending, my friends. You just keep blending like this. Blend there, blend here, blend everywhere. Sometimes you really, if you want to have like a clean line, then just really move your colors up until the top. So you'll have like a clean gradient. But if you want to have that harsh line that separates the two colors, that's fine too. But I feel with this piece, I wanted like a much better blending. That's a blended look. That's much better. So what you're going to try to do is push that darker color up in there. 
And then where you're, when you're in the middle, just try to push that lighter color down so they would meet in the middle and then you can blend them together. There you go. Sorry about that. The sun's going in and out. So if my lighting is changing, it's Mr. Sun doing his thing outside. Going in and out, in and out. Uh, even nature has its bipolar um, moment. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, love, love. Another way that you can use this dual brush. This is one way I love doing it. Okay, is we're going to try and I usually use their blending palette thing, but I don't have it here, so sorry. So we're going to try to try and do that yellow, this orange, and this pink color. Hey, <laughs> squeaky! And then I'm going to use this smaller um, brush tip. We're just going to put, there we go. Drop some colors in there, and then say oh and then I'll put the orange thing the pink I have an audience here Hello. and let me say hi wow that is really small fine tip brush I'm not sure that's my favorite but we'll try and use the medium okay Pop it in there. Hi, a yellow. See the difference of the strokes from the fine, from the small tip and the medium. There, and then we can use the flat and create some background. So if you want to use it for like a background for your lettering, then you can use your Tombow Fudenosuke, you know. Uh, create your yellow in here. There you go. There. And if you feel like you want it like more washed look, then just carefully, gently squeeze your pen so you can have more water to blend the colors together. Which is really pretty. It's kind of like a very light gradient look. I love that. Now make sure that your paper is completely dry before you um, do your lettering on top of that. But I usually do a, I have a heating tool, so because I am very impatient. Um, <laughs> or I'm like, I want to go, 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 go. So I just dry it and then put in your lettering. But that's, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tombow now. You've heard it here first. Well, maybe not here first, but you know, um, the Tombow water brush pens and three different tips. You have the small, the medium, and the flat brush. This is the May VIP box. You get your own exclusive watercolor journal. Um, this is in partnership with Maruman. Maruman. It's kind of like Maruman. I don't know how to pronounce it. But Maruman. American Maruman. Filipino Maruman, yeah, you know. And then you get your five different colors of dual brush pens. Again, these are not new colors, but these are picked for you, perfect for summer. If you were here in America and you're in other part of the world where it's cold, sorry about that. <laughs> but you can still use it for like bright, cheery watercolor or just coloring your journals, you use it in your journals and this and that, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, I know that this all, the boxes, VIP boxes at Tumbo always go so fast. So as soon as you watch this and you like it, you like the contents, you like what you see in here, make sure that you click that link down in the description box below because you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to miss this because you're saving a whole lot. This will just go for $16.99. And the whole box is 25 bucks. What are you waiting for? Click that. Go shopping. Tombo, thank you so much for all these goodies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next one. Bye!